Ryan. Welcome to Wisconsin's 57 Television. Myself and Dr. Patrick Anderson are having a great time here because we are at CrossFit Connex. We're so excited to be here. They're going to run us through the mill of what they do we here. We get to do rowing machine squats. Have you ever squats. done a rowing machine before? I haven't done a lot of rowing, so I'm excited to do that. Yeah, I'm excited to see you try it. I bet you'll kill it. You'll be good. Yeah. Hope so. <laughs> We'll see. And some squats. I think we're going to get to maybe lift some things and jump on mm -hmm. some things. Box jumps, I hear. This yeah. would be good. Yeah. So we're going to do a little bit of playing, but doing a little bit of working out. Um, we get to also, I think, chat with Brian Welker, the owner and head coach, about what it all means, you know, the lifestyle, some of the coaches in the community. So we're excited. Only on Channel 57. Hi, and welcome back to Wisconsin's 57 Television. We are so excited to be back here at CrossFit Connex with Brian Welker, owner and head coach extraordinaire. He's going to show us many things that we are going to get to get involved in today, myself and Dr. Pat. Uh, he's also going to fill us in a little bit more about maybe the, some of the emotional connections with CrossFit, what makes people love it, what kind of events they're going to do, and all kinds of fun stuff. So again, here at CrossFit Connex with Brian, thank you for having us again. Thanks for coming. Thank Absolutely. So tell me a little bit about, I see such a community of people that just are really gaga about this lifestyle and this sport and all things CrossFit. So from your point of view, your experience as a person, as an owner of one of these gyms, why do people love it? What's the love? Right, so um, the reason why I got involved with CrossFit was because of the community. Um, you come to the gym, you work out with the same people every day and you get to see how people progress alongside mm -hmm. you. Um, some people use it as a target to work out to, so some people have been doing it a little bit longer than I was. I said I wanted to be like them, having role models, having a, a goal in sight, um, as well as being able to high five each other at the end of the workout, understanding how difficult it was together. Um, it, it's kind of one of those weird highs at the end of the workout where you're like, hey, you know what I went through? I and and we're. Uh, we're going to celebrate that and do it again tomorrow. Yeah, exactly. Hey, Brian, it's like, how long is a typical workout, would you say? Um, typical workouts anywhere from 5 to 25 minutes. Um, throughout the hour uh, of a class, you'll warm up, um, you'll do some skill work, and then, then you do the, the workout of the day. So are people working out together? Yes. Yeah, doing so similar everybody, things? Yep, or? exactly. So we'll give a 3, 2, 1, go. Everybody starts their workout together, whether they're on the barbell or on a rower or, uh, or just doing something um, like running. Wow. They'll all take off out the door together. Wow. So I, I've, oh, sorry. Go ahead. I was just, uh, you were saying that you, you have a definition, a difference between uh, training and working out. Right. Yeah. So um, most people think of working out as, oh, I just need to burn this many calories so that I can either lose weight or um, just because I think it's healthy for me to go work out for 40 minutes. Training is an aspect where you try to uh, achieve a goal. You set a goal for yourself and say, hey, I want to be able to bench press my body weight or back sure. squat twice my body weight. Whereas it might not be, um, it might not happen tomorrow, but the work that you put in every day that when you train towards something, um, it, it gives you a goal to, uh, to work on every day. Yeah. Do people write them down, what they do? Yeah, absolutely. One of the first things we do in OnRamp is uh, everybody brings in a notebook and they okay. write down goals for themselves. And as they progress, they, they learn about themselves, learn their abilities and work on, uh, hey, I know I can do this. I want to do this in three months. And you can supply that kind of goal-oriented workout. So you can mix it all together right, here where it right. gives you that chance to kind of feel that high five atmosphere of the team was all involved because everybody's getting mm -hmm. it done in that same way um, but then at the same time there's you know written down attainable goals that are gonna reveal themselves and how people feel and look right absolutely it's such a it's such a party mm -hmm. it is at CrossFit Connects and CrossFit in general well we're now gonna do some stuff so Brian's gonna coach me through some things that have to do with the bars up on top of us we're gonna see how I do so take it away coach tell yep. me what to do so um, one of the things about training is being able to do things you've never done before, working towards getting better at certain things. So um, one thing that uh, we always work on is grip strength and core strength. So we can put both of those together by doing some hanging knee raises. So Emily's gonna jump up onto the bar just uh, with an overhand grip. So she's gonna control herself through her shoulders. And then what she's gonna do is bring her knees up past her hips and try to control her swing. There you go, and bringing her legs back down. <laughs> control the swing is harder. Hanging, don't yeah, they? yep, so um, the more we work at this, the more we'll prevent that swinging around. So Emily's gonna try bringing her knees up even a little bit higher. There you go, so she's starting to get that hip turn under. Um, eventually, she's gonna work at trying to get her toes all the way up to the bar. And you do that without swinging? You can, yes, uh, that's the Do people the start with the swing? 
I, I prefer people start with the strict method okay. just to work on the control, stability. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, That's just like that. So with a little bit of more time and training. Training <laughs> is a good workout. Absolutely. Yeah, uh, absolutely. The grip strength is actually good for the spine as well. It definitely straightens you out a little Do bit. Do one too. quick for us with the toes all the way up. That's so, just about the time we have here. So to get the toes all the way up. Wow. Oh, yes. Perfection. Holy baloney. Mm -hmm. That's Very what training well does for you. <laughs> we'll be back with more of that and more demonstrations by Brian Walker here at CrossFit Connex. Welcome back, and we're here at CrossFit Connex, and we're having a great time here with Brian Welker, the owner and head coach extraordinaire, as I like to call him. Dr. Pat and I are having a great time. We're learning about some of the actions, movements, equipment, and how to use things and how to get better at them here at CrossFit Connex. But we're going to do that in a moment here on the rowing machine in front of us. But first, I want to talk a little bit about some of the community events that CrossFit Connex gets involved in. So please, Brian, enlighten us. Yeah. So some of the things we do as a community, um, we, we like to go out to dinner together. Um, Saturdays, we always do our team workout. Um, sometimes we'll go out for brunch afterwards. Um, some of the other community event, events we've uh, done recently, Memorial Day, we did a, the Murph workout, um, which is a, a long run, body weight workout with a finishing with the run, wearing a, a weighted vest. Um, and after everybody finished that, that workout, <laughs> yeah, uh, we, we had a nice little cookout. So we, we grilled out, everybody um, stuck around, had a beverage and uh, just enjoyed the day off. Good. Um, and then uh, we'll do a, a, a Christmas workout um, and uh, gift exchange afterwards. Oh, so fun. everybody dresses up in their in their favorite Christmas attire and then we find <laughs> a place to go out and swap funny presents. That's so. fun. So you yeah. can get involved with CrossFit Connect as a community, get involved with some fun things and CrossFit people do eat, it sounds like. And this is a Absolutely. good thing to remember that <laughs> yeah. we don't just work out. Right. <laughs> You mentioned something about a float trip. Yeah, coming up, um, our community is going uh, down to Albany for the sh uh, to the Sugar River um, sure. to float down as a as a community. So uh, we we take a bus down and uh, oh, just tie great. tie all the tubes together and float down for a couple hours, enjoying the in the sun and. And Not too friendship. many calories being burned at right. that point. <laughs> right. You have to carry your tube to the river. I mean, yeah, that's, that's hard. Yeah, that's hard. You have to get down there. Waiting there in before. line and everything. That's, <laughs> that's, yeah. that's hard. Yep. Well, that really speaks to the community aspect that, that CrossFit Connex offers, which is really nice. So, again, you have your folks that if people wanted to get involved in the community aspect, do they just you know come in and stop in and find out from you or call? Or? Yeah, absolutely. Um, becoming a member at Connex allows you to do all the, the member activities that we do. So um, we like to have friends and family come along as well. So um, members like to bring their friends out to the float trip, um, yeah. to Memorial Day Murph cookouts, anything like that. Well, what's really neat, I know too, about getting involved here is that I think you all offer a free intro class, if I'm not yep. mistaken. So if you're interested in learning CrossFit from Brian or you know just getting involved in the community stuff too, try out that free intro class. I did it and it's a really good intro. So Absolutely. speaking of water and intro, we're going to put Dr. Pat yes. on the rowing machine and take it away. Let's see Brian teach him what to do here. So we went over a little instructional beforehand, but um, Pat was a power lifter in a previous life. Um, and Many years uh, ago. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the rower is very similar to a deadlift. Um, some people think rowing is a lot about upper body strength, but it's actually about core and leg strength. So um, Dr. Pat's going to drive through his heels, and once he extends his legs, he's going to finish pulling with the arms, he's going to extend the legs, and then rebend the knees to get back to his starting point, known as the catch. So. Um, the starting point's the catch. Yep, so the catch. So when you feel the rower pull back okay. on the chain, that's the catch. That, that makes sense. Yep, <laughs> so on the way back, that's called the recovery. So you're recovering back to the catch. Once you find that catch position, then you're really driving through those legs, getting that extension. It's a great cardio exercise. Absolutely. So Strengthening and cardio, right? Definitely. So since he's driving so much with his legs, he's using his posterior chain, his glutes, his hamstrings, the big muscles on the back of his legs um, to drive through there, finishing a little bit with the arms but uh, his core is staying active the whole time. If he wants to roll even harder, that core has to work double time, staying on the whole way through, keeping uh, tension on that chain throughout, and then he finishes with the arms. Do you so, change the tension by going faster? 
So you can change the, it by going faster or um, by changing your stroke rate a little bit, a slower stroke rate, you're gonna find that tension higher. The faster your stroke rate, the tension gets a little bit lower. There's also some damper settings on the side of the, on the rower that determine how hard that catch position is gonna be. How long do you usually have someone row? So depending on the workout, they may row for a minute at a time or they do a 5K, which is closer to 20 minutes. That'd wow. be a good workout. Yeah, absolutely. So cardio and strength. It's a very safe exercise too. Definitely. And it just feels like there's really no strain anywhere, just good effort. Yep, absolutely. Definitely putting in the effort, Dr. Pat, looking good on the rowing machine. Up. What's a typical speed? Um, about two, uh, two minutes per 500 meters would be uh, a pretty decent clip. So. So I'm not going fast enough. <laughs> In a little time, we'll be cutting some time off of that. We're quickly running out of time. We have Dr. Pat here on the rowing machine, Brian Welker from CrossFit Connex, and we'll be back with more right after the break. Rowing nice is job. fun. Welcome back and we're here at CrossFit Connex and we're so excited to be moving around to different parts of the gym, trying a couple of the different things they do here at CrossFit Connex in, within the CrossFit community and lifestyle. Um, behind us you'll see here some barbells, so we're going to check those out in a minute and Dr. Pat's going to demonstrate a little bit and Brian Welker, owner of CrossFit Connex and head coach is going to show us a few moves as well. But just for a minute, I want to focus a little bit on your coaches. It's not just you that shows people what's up here, right? you got a couple right. of other folks helping. Yeah, Tell we've, us about we've them. got a great group of people that uh, help everybody out every day. Um, so Charisse, Coach Charisse, she's here at 5 a.m. Um, she uh, yeah, works for, for the, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that 5 a.m. crew is really committed. So, yeah. I mean, not a, not a lot like of people. Nothing that workout done early. Right, right. Start the day off right. Yeah. Um, so she's a, a police officer with the UWPD, okay. um, K-9 handler right now. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so she's here in the mornings. Okay, um, so at 5. Yep, and then we have Michelle in the afternoons. Hey, um, she r runs some of our open gym time and coaches in the afternoon as well. She's also a detective for the UW, or, uh, for the Madison Police Department. Um, and then we have Coach Jared, um, who started up with us as a member, um, oh, nice. worked his way in um, as a coach, and uh, um, loves working out, loves lifting, loves cool. helping people. Um, and then we have Allison, who is our yoga instructor. Um, she's yep. working on uh, helping coach with some CrossFit down the line as well. And then uh, Alan, who's our, our barbell and weightlifting coach. So wide variety. Absolutely. And what, what uh, how many classes are there per day? So every day we have about six or seven classes, depending on the day. Um, Thursday's usually our, our recovery day, so <laughs> you work out three days of the week really hard, you take that Thursday off, you come back Friday and Saturday, and then Sunday's another rest day as well. But we also have that strong and stretchy class to do a little active recovery on awesome. Sunday. Awesome. And that's what Allison teaches, right? It's a right. mix of a little CrossFit workout and some yoga, is that yep, correct? Yep, So and it's one hour long? Yep, Jared Sundays and at Allison. 10. That yep. sounds amazing. So as we see here, CrossFit folks do rest. <laughs> Thursdays and Sundays, <laughs> they have their rest day, but the rest of the week they have classes. We've met and encountered all the coaches here, and they're all wonderful, Brian included. So definitely come Come check them out here. Um, we're going to have a little bit of action behind us here. So, Brian, if you'd like to go ahead and introduce what's happening here and walk Dr. Pat through what's what's going on behind us. So, one of our more technical skills that we're going to put Pat through today is um, the overhead squat. So, we talked about the air squat last time and some other uh, variances on the squat that we can do. Um, today, we're going to do the overhead squat. So. Um, what he's going to do is he's going to hold onto this PVC up overhead with his arms extended and he's going to work his way to try to get into the bottom of his overhead squat. So, and the idea awesome. of this is you start with the PVC, work your way up with weights and eventually do what you're going to do. Yep. So, yeah, so you do go. the typical squat. Yeah. So he's going to work on getting a little bit more Lots depth. Are fun. Yeah. Lots are fun. See, Dr. Fun gets out. And the more Lots weight you have, the lower you can go. <laughs> yeah. Maybe not stand up. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so this, uh, this movement really requires a lot of mobility through the shoulders and through the hips and getting the core and everything to work together. And imagine if you had some weight, there's some balance involved with it too. Yep, definitely. You got to make sure you're not falling forward, not falling backward. So That's why the coaches are here to make sure that nobody is injuring themselves or Yep, and give you forward. guidance on how much weight you should use um, and how everything's looking. Sometimes you can't always tell where your body's at without looking at it. We don't have any mirrors here. Our coaches are mirrors. They'll tell That's you nice. where, you're, where you should be. 
And then there's a couple of other moves that I know um, that I've heard thrown around here within the uh, lifting, like yep. snatch is one I yeah, remember. So there's the, another the, one. The there's snatch is another movement very similar to the overhead squat. There you go. He knows what he's doing. He's, he's right in here. Yeah. So he's, he's moving the barbell from the floor to up overhead in one movement. There he does a clean and nice. a jerk. Yeah, yeah that was very nice. Did I set a good record? job, Dr. Pat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. PVC record. Today's record. <laughs> PVC record. <laughs> yeah. That's a record. It all involves bragging rights. No, I saw Alan do those here. He's very good at them, and he's yeah. uh, he really has nice form, and I mean, he makes it look kind of easy, actually. Yeah, he's, he's done a lot of work and a lot of practice to, to get better at um, that technique, and, and through some of my guidance and some of the other coaches, um, he's, he's come a long way. Yeah. Well, let's see you do one with the, yeah. with the big guy over here, and All then we right. only just have a few minutes, a few seconds left, so let's see it get done with the weights. Wow. Holy moly. That is that's a lot harder than it looks. strength and range of motion and balance. <laughs> Yep. That works the entire body. That's Beautiful. awesome. Beautiful. Well, thank you, Brian. Again, thank you for the demonstration. We're here at CrossFit Connects, and we'll see you right after the break. Welcome back to CrossFit Connex. I'm still having a great time chatting here with Brian Welker, the owner and head coach here at CrossFit Connex. We're gonna do a bit more demonstrations in a second with some step ups and jump overs, I think yep. is what they're called. But quickly kind of fill me in, and like bring it all together for me about community and CrossFit and your gym and the big deal, tell yeah. me. Yeah, so the big thing about the CrossFit community is you're never alone. Um, you do the workout together, uh, you high five like we've talked about, um, but there's, I mean, there's lots of studies out there about uh, not doing things by yourself. So um, <clears throat> if you're struggling through a workout, you can remember, hey, your buddy's over there working just as hard as you are. Um, and it just, uh, it keeps you coming back, um, yeah. knowing that you have your accountability partner mm -hmm. saying, hey, are you coming to the gym today? Um, they're gonna be there. Maybe they finish a, a couple seconds before you. Um, they're cheering for you to finish that workout. So yeah. um, usually the loudest cheers are for the person who's finishing last yeah. instead of the person that's finishing first. That's just a really warm and fuzzy statement. I mean, not to joke about it at all. I think accountability partner, a team feeling, a, a group that is working together to achieve a goal for an individual and as a team is amazing. Yeah. So for anyone out there that still hasn't experienced this feeling, please come and check it out, CrossFit Conics with Brian Welker. Real quick here, we're gonna do a couple demonstrations. He's gonna walk me through step overs and jump overs. Yep. Or jump ons. <laughs> yeah, me. box jumps. So, okay, um, box jumps, here we go. Emily's gonna start with the box step up. So this mimics um, going up the stairs, um, climbing up and over an object, things like that. So um, this is a 20 inch box. Uh, we also have two, six, 12 inch boxes. This goes up to 24 and 30, um, so we can have various heights for these. So, so I'm doing like the medium. Yeah, yep. The, so the this B would be our right this would be our standard woman's height. All so, right. Uh, cool. Awesome. So she's gonna step up with her right foot, planting that full foot on there. She pulls up with that front leg and then steps over to the other side. Now, since she did that with the right leg, we're gonna balance things out with the left leg. Pulls up, stands tall at the top of the box and over. All right. Not nice too bad, but you up. have to do, thank you. You have to do many of those again and again and again yeah, really fast. Yeah, you do a whole bunch of them. And it, yeah, it starts to add up. So exactly. now she's going to do a box jump. So um, she's going to set up about a foot away from the box. She's going to jump and land with both feet on the top of the box and stand nice and tall. And I remember when I was learning this a minute ago, he was telling me you don't want to start here because then you can get your shins racked up and yeah, you can trip so and all these things. Yeah, stay far enough so. away that you're, you're getting a good trajectory on the box. And I go over or come and step back? Um, we, we'll stay on this side and you'll just step back down. Okay. Here goes. There we go. She stands tall, hips and knees extended, steps back down and goes for the next one. Okay. There we go. Now to go over? Awesome. Sure, let's do an over. I jump this off? Time. You can jump or step. So for anybody who has issues with jumping, we can do steps. Um, if the jump is fine, but the jump down is a little too much, the step is always there. Okay, I'll do um, one of those. Okay, yeah. one more here. There we go. Good, and okay. then steps down. So that's awesome. fun. Um, I only did it three times, so it's still fun. Yeah. <laughs> now you're gonna turn the box on its side, make it taller, and Brian's gonna show us this next height, which so is now, what is this, 24? This is 24 inches, so this is our standard men's height. Um, some of the different things we can do with the box jump. Um, the step, like we did before, we can do our jump, 
Wow, you make that look so easy. <laughs> Standing tall. Um, some other things we can do are burpee box jumps. Oh my goodness. So I'll head on down to the floor. One step and then up and, and on over. top. Holy moly. That is so impressive. Again, you make everything look so easy here at CrossFit Conics. This is Brian Welker. Thank you so much for having us today. Thanks Please come coming. check them out here. Nothing but fun, good workouts, team effort on Wisconsin's 57 television. Welcome back to Wisconsin's 57 Television. We had a great time here at CrossFit Connex. We got to play, we got to lift and jump. That doesn't get any better than that. Dr. Pat did the rowing machine, had a wonderful time. Always enjoying being here with Brian Walker, head coach and owner and all the fabulous coaches at CrossFit Connex on Wisconsin's 57 Television.